What's up guys? I'm George Arjour. Today we're going to our first ever Phoenix Rising FC match against Las Vegas. Our first time watching soccer or football in the Valley. So follow me as we find out what football is like in Phoenix. <laughs> you the Phoenix Rising match in this video but first let's begin by walking through some pre-match shenanigans including food and some adult beverages we started off in the suburb of Chandler near the stadium we're standing outside of Santan Brewing in downtown Chandler and we're about to go inside we'll show you around real quick and then we're heading to the match afterwards so follow me inside of Santan Brewery. Santan Brewery has been quenching the first of Phoenix for over a decade not only is it a brewery, but a distillery as well. The drinks are cold, the food is hot, and I decided to give their bourbon shot a try, pun intended. And well, it got our group feeling some type of way. Santan Brewery is a must go before the match. Next, we headed over next door to Murphy's Law for a ice cream shot. <laughs> that sounds good. And I was greeted at the entry by some asshole who flipped me off and proceeded to talk shit. Well, some humans just suck. But I did what any natural, fun person would do. I just took a shot and left. Downtown Chandler was a success. It was time to head over to the match. Phoenix Rising Stadium used to be in Tempe, but moved to Chandler. And I mean that literally. They had the stadium deconstructed in Tempe and reconstructed in the new location in Chandler next to the Gila River Casino. <laughs> All right, so we're about to walk into the Phoenix Rising match. First time watching a football or soccer match in the Valley. I got my buddies behind me, super excited. Sammy over there, subscribe to his channel, recording the scenes. Follow us as we go inside our first ever match in the Valley. And there it is, Phoenix Rising FC Stadium. And I was pleasantly surprised. It was bigger than I met. All right, we're approaching the Phoenix Rising Stadium. You can hear the sounds. The atmosphere actually sounds a lot more exciting than I thought it was going to sound. And I think it's going to be a really good match. So we're going to be entering it here in a second. We'll show you around inside. So uh, let's get it. The stadium fits 10,000 seats, which is 3,500 more than the previous stadium. Let's go inside. All right, the stands are behind me. We're about to go in. We're sitting in the supporter section. About to walk in right now. We'll give you the, all the views. It sounds loud. I don't know if you can hear it behind me. We got the drums playing, band playing. This is about to be a wild time, I think, here at the Phoenix Rise. Grabbed a beverage and it was time to head into the match. And as soon as you walk in, you are instantly greeted by a great environment. Phoenix Rising FC supporters know how to put on a show. Phoenix Rising FC plays in the USL Championship, which is the second tier of pro soccer in the USA. However, the club has plans and aspirations to play in the MLS in the future, and the stadium and grounds was built with room for major expansion. The team was founded as the Arizona United and was founded in 2014. The club is a little younger than Manchester United, hence the name, and has no trophies quite yet. There are two different groups of supporters the Los Bandinos, and the Red Furry. The soccer is exciting, but the first half ended 0-0. Halftime, Phoenix Rising. You'll probably hear this band, but maybe not. Let's see, we're going to the team shop. Maybe we can find something good to buy, a little souvenir like we like to do everywhere. What's up, what's up? <laughs> All right, let's get in real quick. All right, it was time to walk into the team store and find myself some swag. The team store had some sick options for those Phoenix Rising fanatics and some reason had a North Arizona University kit too. I gravitated towards a summer sale where the hats were on sale for less than a price of beer. Halftime resembled many of the minor league baseball games I've been to. Kids playing outside on the grass and this kid made a sick ass save. It was nice to see kids playing outside in the Arizona heat, which, you know, it's really hot out here. so. I couldn't do it, so shout out to those kids. The second half resumed, and unfortunately, despite multiple opportunities, the game ended up in a 0-0 draw. All right, well, this game is over, 0-0. Somehow, I end up at 0-0 draws everywhere I go. This is my fifth 0-0 draw this season, or this year, 2022. And another 0-0 draw is gonna be amongst us, it looks like. 
If it changes, I'll come back. The Phoenix Rising FC surprised me. It is fucking fantastic. So, had a bunch of beers, some vodka sodas, and a really good time in the valley. The game was over, but the story isn't, as I'm sure Phoenix one day will rise, pun intended, and be an MLS club. Hey guys, I'm George Jarjour, and if you like videos about sports and travel, please, it'd mean the world to me if you can like and subscribe to my channel as I travel around the world covering sports and travel.